What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today we have some new information about many things coming with the Forsaken. Game Informer asked Bungie a whole heap of questions including the return of the last word, new secret missions like the Whisper of the Worm and much much more people. Before we get into covering that, every single month people I'm giving away a fully customizable controller. To be in the chance of winning it simply drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. More details on the giveaway at the end of the video. Okay so straight up Bungie in the form of Steve Cotton and Scott Taylor were asked many interesting questions with some interesting replies. So let's get into it. Now I ain't obviously going to go through every single question, just the important ones and quote the answers talking about such. Okay so there will be new secret quests like the Whisper of the Worm mission on IO. With some juicy rewards too, Bungie do confirm come with a Forsaken DLC. I cannot wait to learn more people I really can't. Also I can add that when the new weapon system comes into place, the Whisper of the Worm will stay in that power weapon slot and you won't be able to move it into your primary or energy slot. That makes sense actually. There are also new timed events like Iron Banner and Faction Rallies in the works, Bungie confirmed but go no further into it. They then talk about Masterworks armor um, uh, specifically, it will drop post Forsaken with random bonus stats which aren't re rollable but can be upgraded. When it's fully upgraded guys it then becomes a Masterwork and there are 10 upgrades to each. Now that is interesting people. They also confirm Masterwork exotic armor will not be a part of the Forsaken DLC. Okay so the new infusing system, massive changes here people, previously or as it is now you can infuse hand cannons into hand cannons only, you can infuse auto rifles into auto rifles only, side arms into side arms and so on, you guys get my drift. With the Forsaken DLC that all changes, infusing will still be a thing but now you infuse by slot, so any kinetic weapon can be infused into any other kinetic weapon, same with energy and same with power weapons. Bungie states it's an easier system for infusion, but it does cost the player more. They also state obviously duplicates are the least cost worthy. So that sounds pretty cool people, I cannot wait to see more on this set. Also armor changes, the mods and armors will now drastically change. Each armor piece post Forsaken will drop with two mods. These mods represent bonus to subclass abilities and weapons. So for instance, mod 1 will be a bonus to the hunter's golden gun trip mod, allowing it to be thrown quicker or cool down quicker. The weapon mod and said armor piece will offer bonus to a single archetype of weapons mainly surrounding the new ammo economy. But more info on this in the future people. Moving on and Bungie are asked if the last word or the bad juju are returning. Although they state they ain't announcing any new exotics yet but might do soon. The looks on their faces people tell a whole different story. Check them out. Guilty people. Guilty they know something about these two weapons they really do. I truly hope they both return, last word probably more so than the bad juju, but over both of these I'd prefer the null and beyond I really would. Confirmed also people, K6 only dies if you buy the Forsaken DLC, vanilla D2 players, he will still be there. Also Bungie confirm, what awaits us in the tower upon K's death is something that they want us to truly experience for ourselves. Oh goody, I can't wait to see what awaits us. They are also asked who will replace K within the vanguard. Bungie state many new characters come with the Forsaken DLC, but we will learn more upon his replacement through playing the campaign story. No more treasure maps people after the Forsaken DLC. Gambit will have his own unique weapons and armors for us to grind for too. Tolkien's people are also mentioned. Gunsmith materials, Savala Vanguard tokens and Shaq's Crucible tokens, these will still be redeemable with the Forsaken, so if you have them stacked now, you can use them come Forsaken. No word on planetary tokens, Iron Banner trials or faction tokens, so I'm guessing these will become redundant. Use them while you can. No in-game LFG will become with the Forsaken DLC. No trick spell, no horns or racing will become with the Forsaken DLC, so no spell racing league confirmed with the Forsaken DLC. Bungie also states, although they can't confirm anything, the idea of bringing back all the raids rebooted and so forth is a good idea and they like it, they are taking it on board. Strikes as we know will be selectable from said planets and so on and matchmaking will be a part of that. Bungie also confirmed there is gear themed around the Fallen and the Strangled Shore. So bitches are going to be looking like dregs, I cannot wait! Strike exclusive loot will also be coming with the Forsaken DLC. I mean we've got Nightfall exclusive loot. I'm guessing you'll be able to grind a said strike on a said planet over and over until you get what you want. So that's pretty epic. Also grinding strikes will raise you up to almost top power cap. 
so if you like drawing strikes you can and still progress. There will also be many more missions which unlock new exotic weapons but we have to play to find out Bungie say. No class exclusive weapons in the Forsaken. Now if you didn't know you are rewarded badges in game for collecting full gear sets. These badges accumulate and unlock triumphs which can unlock other things such as emblems and so forth. More things have been added in game wise for the solo player. Gambit and Secrets within the Dreamy City are just a few to mention. Adventures will now be deployed differently after the Forsaken as Bungie feel many adventures people skipped but they do offer great gameplay they don't want people missing and that makes sense I mean I've played a few adventures and the gameplay within them has surprised me it really has. A lot of it being better than the original story I'm not even going to lie to you guys. No heavy machine guns in the Forsaken DLC unfortunately. People who don't purchase the Forsaken DLC will still be able to play Trials, Iron Banner and Comp but your power level matters in Trials and the Iron Banner. If you don't purchase the Forsaken your power is capped at 4 400, so you will eventually be at a major disadvantage. You will still be able to earn those new rewards though. Swords, you will now be able to rock your favourite shaders on them, absolutely awesome about damn time. Eververse is going nowhere people, unfortunately. Shader mass deletion will be done at the Cryptarch, finally he has a use, you can delete them in groups of 5, but you state you will be able to get rid of them big piles super quick, amazing. Shaders will now be able to be pulled out of your collection, so there's no need to have hundreds of shaders stacked. And lastly people, Celestial Nighthawk does not affect the new Hunter Golden Gun subclass tree, which is that subclass where he throws knives. So the Celestial Nighthawk will not affect it whatsoever, so it's a pointless exotic when using that new subclass. And that's basically it people, we have come to the end of the video, if you would like to check out the entire 25 minute video you'll find that link within the video description, pretty epic not gonna lie but I have covered the major points within this video. And on that note guys we have come to the end but before we do that, every single month I am giving away a fully customizable controller for either Xbox or Playstation sent anywhere in the world, to be with a chance of winning simply drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel then follow the Gleam link linked at the top of the video description, fast, simple and legit people, but on that note I am out, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand. Yeah.